is the is part of the problem with what's going on with the Treasury Department due to a, a particular ideological commitment from the president, or is it that the president has thrown his hands up? Is he fairly agnostic on this and he simply yields to the people, you know, the so-called experts? I think a lot of people have been asking themselves that question, you know, for the last four years. What what is Barack Obama's real orientation on all of this? I think a lot of people that I talk to believe that he just defers to people like Bob Rubin and those voices and th these people who've been, you know, Larry Summers who've been surrounding him, uh, you know, since, um, you know, for years now since he was campaigning. And I think he's accepted the rationale that they've, they've probably been telling him that, you know, we need to take these steps to restore confidence in the economy, uh, I, particularly on the issue of, you know, should we uh, push forward high-level prosecutions, criminal prosecutions against people at some of these banks for fraud. Uh, the Obama administration has clearly decided that that's not a move that they want to take. And I think the internal rational rationale there was that it would, it would you know, uh, undermine confidence in the system. Uh, all the evidence is that he's accepted that rationale. There's no, there's no counter evidence that he believes anything else. Uh, but I don't think there's any direct evidence that that uh, that he you know that he that he feels one way or the other. You know, look, he has supported Tim Geithner. Um, Tim Geithner is the last surviving member of the original economic team. Tim Geithner's advisors are now populating different uh, significant jobs within the White House. Um, he, you know, it's not that much of a stretch to say that Tim Geithner and Barack Obama uh, have the same views, the same ideology, and the same approach to Wall Street. And you know, even in the run-up during the campaign, um, Barack Obama confirmed his view that we need to have these giant, too big to fail banks uh, that we oh. shouldn't go down the the, the of breaking them up or or, or meaningful reform. And, and look, his administration led the fight against Brown Kaufman. I mean, this thing didn't die uh, because the, Repub the evil Republicans overturned it. it. It died because the Obama administration uh, put the kibosh on it. So, you know, I think we have to accept the fact. Um, and look, I went through this as a very strong Obama supporter when I went to Washington, uh, along with my deputy. Uh, we were always making these excuses. Oh, if the president only knew what was really going right. on. And, but, you know, after a period of time, you realize of course he knows what's going on. These are not Tim Geithner's policy. These are not Rubin's policies. These are not Larry Summers' policies. These are Barack Obama's policies, and the, his legacy is going to be defined by what happens under those policies, in my view.